everybody Jeff here so yeah it's been uh, over a week week and a half since my last video or my set of videos that I split up um, I don't know what happened last week that I didn't do a video I don't think anything really has come in real recently I have been pulling way back on buying but I do have quite a few things that have come in um, mainly it's yesterday and uh, a bigger package came in so we're looking at that today um, first off though is something that came out today. This is what I'm going to call as I have in my previous videos my Amazon buy of the week or deal of the week or super deal of the week. Today I got this in. This is the new POD album Circles. Um, POD if you're not familiar with them payable on death. They're a uh, they've kind of crossed over but they are a Christian. They start off and, and have been a Christian kind of a rap core type band. You're probably familiar with songs if you don't know them per se. You're familiar with some of their songs that crossed over a while back, like the song uh, Alive. I, I feel so alive for the very first time. And then another song, I hear that on the radio still. Another song I hear on the radio still is The Youth of a Nation. We are, we are. Um, they did a song for the Matrix soundtrack, one of the Matrix movies. They've done a lot of things uh, over the years. You can YouTube them, you'll see they got a lot of videos. But um, anyway, this I believe is only their second album that has been released on vinyl. This one and the one prior to that. Um, had it in my wish list, kind of keeping an eye on it. It fluctuated down, you know, $12.00. And then the other day it went to, it was down to like ten dollars and I thought really well do I really need to buy it mm. and then like two days ago three days ago it dropped down to six eighty five six dollars and eighty five cents brand new hundred eighty gram brand new album um, and I've listened to it online a bit and I have a digital download of it but uh, the um, but and I like it so I'm like <laughs> six ninety five I'm grabbing it anyway so that just came in today. Um, and then another one I bought yesterday that another one of those drop in prices, not that low, but another Amazon drop. But I'll show that another day. It's not going to be until, until tomorrow. Okay. The other package I got, now this is, I've got so much money tied up out there in pre-orders and mostly we're, this is all mostly, uh, Christian music. I buy a lot of Christian rock and metal and rocks records, retroactive records, um, and girder music, you know, they this year i don't know they have been working overtime to release amazing stuff as i've already mentioned in previous videos they did the whole limited vinyl run thing so i've got hundreds of dollars invested in all of these different limited vinyls waiting to come out supposedly early december so that is going to be very exciting but this package um was previously to all of that and um it was a reissue of some things on vinyl and they had a what they call the all-in package which was all of these new items plus a couple other items and so I did the all-in package because the price was absolutely right and a steal ultimatum and their symphonic extremities this is the first time on vinyl um, I'm sure pretty much anybody that's watching me most likely already knows who ultimatum is but for those elect who don't we know right here you can see that vocalist right there is Scott Waters. Yeah, this is Scott Waters. He's a vinyl community guy. He's he's one of the first guys I was watching do a video. So um, this is Scott's band. So of course it's going to get reissued, and his stuff has been issued on vinyl. So this is basically my understanding is the they have a demo by this name, and then this is the demo. It's been on CD, and actually that's one of the things that they sent. But um. It's a couple demo. It's basically demo tracks. But you know, I threw it on on vinyl. I mean, I've had this CD for years, and because um, it was reissued a handful of years ago by Retroactive, this is a Rocks reissue. Um, I threw it on vinyl, and it, it sounds great. It's thrash. It's early '80s type thrash. Uh, I really enjoy these early years. Um, and like I said, it did come with part of the all-in package. Was it came with? Why didn't I get that? the CD version. Now this is the retroactive CD version. I think this was yeah 2007, so this is 12 years old. Um, and of course there are some additional tracks on here that are not in here, but anyway, having this on vinyl is great. Now there is a version of this that's on green vinyl. I have the black because the all-in package 
was black, which is kind of odd. The last all-in package that I bought had all the color vinyl, but this one is black, and that's fine. I'm, you know, the deal was a deal. It was an amazing deal. So I grabbed this. So Ultimatum. It also came with, as is becoming the common thread, it's got a, that sticker. And then this one is really cool. I love these little, for these little, you know, these little cutout ones like that. So it has these two stickers. So that was a great plus. All right. Next up was Biogenesis. Um, I'm digging this album. This one is on color because it's only only released on color. It's on red. This is the final number twelve and the final in the Rocks Underground series. I don't know why you would ever stop that. There's plenty of things underground you can release. Um, but this is cool. It's got this red bag, which is interesting. Um, a different change of pace. And it's got the cover. And it is, as if you've had any of these other underground series, it's the, it's the typical J-card type fold-out thing. And it's got the lyrics and the band stuff. Really cool. And... The thing that I love when they do, they did. I love it. I wish everybody would do this. I think vinyl, you know, needs to have, almost every vinyl release should have either a download card or an accompanying CD. This one comes with an accompanying CD. It is the promotional copy. It says only. It is the vinyl remaster. And it does have one song more than the vinyl. Um, and this CD was released last year. And this one has uh, more songs on it than that. Plus, it's got that exclusive bonus track there. Um, so this is the whole deal. I mean, this is you know the vinyl and the CD. This was this was the whole kit and caboodle. Love it. And they're kind of more of a. They have a little bit of uh, intensity at times, but they're not really like a you know extreme type metal. But they're just kind of a solid metal band that occasionally gets really aggressive. Um, I really dig it. Uh, their last album was really good. This one, you know, is just as good. Really dig it. And it came with a sticker, too. Loving that. Loving that. And then up next was this, East West. Now, I, East West, The Light and Guinevere's Garden. I love this album. Now, I was never much into the whole 90s scene and the whole alternative music. But there were a few bands that did really catch my attention. Now, this came out, I think, in what, 2001, I think. But still, we're talking late 90s stuff. Um, this is, they had an album before this, like a tape, and, um, and then I believe, yeah, anyway, this is the one that I always really enjoyed. Um, it's just got a, a it's got a lot of stuff, a lot of variety. It's, it is going to still be mo mostly alternative rock and metal, um, but I like it. It's not anything like the grunge scene or anything of that time, but it also, is available on blue vinyl the uh like i said the the ultimatum was available on like a a uh, toxic green but there was only 50 of those this was on blue but i again the package just came with the black um, it's got an insert you can see it's got did all the compilation stuff there and also it came with the same type of promotional cd the vinyl remaster it does not have any additional songs. It's got everything on here because that's what's on here. Um, I threw this on last night first, actually, and cranked it up. And I don't know. Again, as I mentioned I think, in one of my previous videos, maybe it's just a placebo effect of, in my brain. Maybe it's not real at all, but it just it screamed better than I've ever heard it on CD. Um, I am just, I just love this album. Anyway, so I'm thrilled to have this, and I am totally satisfied with having black i gotta have more of a enjoying man mentality and stop with the collector stuff because you can save money that way anyway um it came with the sticker too that's autographed uh i'm not 100 percent sure who autographed that i need to look that up also part of the pack is the new wicked's end flood now has no connection at all to let me make sure there's no glare to anybody in these in these packages is <laughs> obviously there's no cd i mean no uh vinyl of this but I was super thrilled to have this in there because I have everything else that Wicked's End has done. And now I got this for a, a killer price with the package. So to have that in there, 
was just a big plus. And this is one of the first ones, uh, most of their stuff that they've released has been on their own label type thing. This is on rocks. It's a pro CD, everything, packaging, everything. This is probably, you know, one of the most pro looking releases they've done. Um, and I really enjoy it. Now this band, they started off kind of thrashy in the beginning and they've kind of went more into the death metal scene. I'm not a huge death metal fan. Um, I don't like the vocals when they get really extreme. I like to be able to hear. I can understand vocals on some death metal. Anyway, they, they get a little more aggressive than I like at times. But it's one of those things where you're like, you know, I've kind of been following them for years. It's almost kind of like I need to buy it because I need a part of my collection. I gave it a spin. And I'll give it more spins. Um, but, you know, this style of music hits me when I'm in the mood. And anyway, I gave it a spin yesterday and, and was enjoying it. So, all right, the next few things are not part of that deal. This came in last week, a uh, weekend before, what was it, a week or two ago on Facebook in the uh, Asylum, the CD and Cassette Asylum. Uh, I bought a couple things I showed um, in, in one of them in the previous video. This is another one that came in. I finally got my hands on one of the Project Driver albums. It's not like it's super hard to find. It's not like it's super expensive, but it came up. It's there. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this, this is this is uh, Tony McAlpine, amazing guitar player, one of those you know shredders, uh, instrumental virtuoso. He can play piano, uh, organ piano like crazy. He's actually coming to town, I think, in February to some little club in Norfolk. I plan on going to see him. Um, he's done a lot of work with a lot of other people. He's played with Steve Vai for on tour for some years. Um, uh, he plays with uh, Mike Portnoy and Derek Sherinian and them. They have a, uh, a little side project they've done. Anyway, Tommy Aldridge, drummer for a long time with Ozzy. He's been with White Snake now for many years. Uh, Rob Rock, really his first appearance. Rob Rock, of course, uh, I talk about him a lot now. He's a singer for Impella Terry. He's got a bunch of solo albums out. Anyway, this is really his first appearance. And then Rudy Sarzo, also a longtime bassist for Quiet Riot, Ozzy, uh, White Snake, you name it. You know, Rudy Sarzo is the man. He is the man. Anyway, it's just your typical eight. This is like 1985-ish. Yeah, I think. Um, it's on Shrapnel. Word of the wise, anybody out there who doesn't listen to metal, if you're ever out and about looking and you find anything, anything on shrapnel, got the little tank there. If you find anything on shrapnel for a good price, I'll buy it. Anything on shrapnel, I'm going to buy. Um, shrapnel was the label back in the day that had everything 80s metal that you wanted. And, and I would trust anything on shrapnel records. Um, metal Blade in the early days, same thing. Nowadays, Metal Blade has a lot of death metal stuff that I don't like. They've gotten really aggressive. Um... All right, moving on. Another new one that came in. This is a, uh, I pre-ordered this on Amazon. I talked about it already, but this is Alice Cooper's Dirty Diamonds. Now, this was on Record Store Day a few months back. Uh, it was released on Blood, on Red, Splatter, and Clear Vinyl. Uh, Record Store Day, very limited quantities. It sold out immediately. Couldn't find it anywhere locally. Immediately, it went online for like $150. I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> now it's been reissued. Got it for typical 20-something. It's on Red Vinyl. Solid red, you know, I don't care what color it is. It's not like they released the one on Record Store Day uh, and then unmastered it and made it sound like garbage. Anyway, played this, love it, great album. Uh, it's available now at your retailers for cheap. All right, another one of the S Super Metal Sunday releases that came in a couple days ago is this one by London. London, if you're not familiar, they're another one of those bands from California back in the day motley crew uh actually some of the guys was it was it nikki six that was with them uh, or one of the guys from Wa anyway wasp uh odin motley crew all of those bands they were all contemporaries london um they never just they never made it like all the other bands that we're so familiar with but they have a handful of albums up and this one i wanted to get i've had it i've had it digitally for a while again it's not super hard to find it's not super rare it's Tends to be medium priced, and I got this one for a real good price. Um, it has been reissued. It's on different versions. Um, I checked it out ahead of time, and this is on Metalhead, which is, I think, I believe this is the original release. So um, this is not one of the reissues. Uh, comes with a neato, you know, typed out lyric sheet looking stuff. Oh, the technology. Anyway, um, this was just something, you know, I thought 
nostalgia. It, it's a decent album, and it was a decent price, so I grabbed it. And then I think it was a week or two ago, two weeks ago, right before my last video, um, another Amazon deal. Great drop in price. Kiss, Dress to Kill, and Kiss Destroyer both dropped down into the $12 range, and so I went ahead and scooped them up. Um, I can't get everything on Amazon that drops down into the under 15 range. A lot of things are hovering there, but you know, I look at some bands that are like, I have to have, I want to get all their albums on vinyl, and Kiss is one of them. Obviously, Kiss is like my founding band of music back as a kid. Um, and these are just, you know, two great albums, so I made the jump and grabbed them. Um, because another one dropped on Amazon yesterday to $10, but it's a 2019 re release from a band. And for $10, I'm like, I should buy it, I should buy it. But then I'm like, do I really need it? And I have to really kind of start looking at need more. So I didn't buy it. But Kiss I bought. Um, and then the one that I bought, I'll show in a couple of days. It'll be here tomorrow. Um, and it's also a new issue. But anyway, so that was it for now. Um, the only thing, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. There was one other CD was supposed to come with the big package I got from Rocks, but uh, I'm trying to inquire as to where that is. But again, it's nothing majorly new. Uh, it's just another Ultimatum album. Um, but that's it for now. One to share. I do. I'm going to do another video uh, probably right after this uh, in response to one that uh, was posted by somebody else today. So if I make that, you'll see that soon. Thanks for watching. Rock on.